So have you ever been in this position in Adobe Photoshop where you've created a selection, a really complex and detailed selection, but then you've realized that you've actually forgotten to add feathering before you started? Well, the good news is you can actually add feathering after creating a selection. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can achieve that in Adobe Photoshop. Cool, so we're in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see, I've got a small graphic of a fire in the middle of our canvas. And I've also gone ahead and actually created a selection of that graphic. Now the idea here might be to add some glow behind the fire. So we add some depth to our image and granted this might not be the best way to add glow to our image, but it is one possible solution. So what we want to do, of course, is turn this selection into a feathered selection. So at the moment, the selection has a hard edge, which basically means there's no blend between the two edges of our selection. However, if we had a soft edge, which would be possible by using feathering in selections, there'd actually be a blend from the left to the right. So you get this natural gradient and soft edge between the two sides. And that's essentially what we're going to do with this selection with our fire right here. So in order to add feathering to our selection, what we need to do is go to select at the top right here, then go to modify and then go to feather. And from here, we can essentially choose how much of a feather radius we want to include which is the normal value that we actually change when we want to add feathering in the first place. So in this case, 100 pixels sounds great to me. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the selection is no longer 100% perfect to the original graphic, and that's because Photoshop has automatically applied the feathering to it. And that's going to round off the edges of our selection. So what I could do now is go to the paint bucket tool just by pressing G on my keyboard and then pressing in once. And as you can see, I can now fill in our selection and we have a nice soft edge around our selection. I can quickly deselect that, change the fill to 40%. And as you can see, I've now got a glow behind my fire. Now, one thing to quickly note just before you all dash off is that you can't reverse this process. And this is very important to be aware of because if you've made loads of changes after you feathered your selection, you can't go back and actually undo it to your original selection. Now in this case, I've used a selection of my layer outline, which in theory I could reselect. But if you started creating something using a original selection, you might want to consider saving your selection before you actually feather it in the future, because this way you can always go back to the original selection that you had because you can't unfeather it in the future. So if you're interested in finding out how you can actually do that, then do check out the video on the right hand side of the end screen. 